All right, y'all, I just woke up and this is gonna be day in the life of a high A minor league baseball player. Here's a little view of what we're working with. So most mornings I make a smoothie with eggs and I'll show you some of the other stuff in it and I just whip it up and it takes like five minutes. So most of our games are in the evening. Right now it's it's almost 10. I normally wake up at like 9.30, go to bed at around midnight, um, depending on when we get back from the game. But, so I mean, we actually, if you get up at a decent hour, you do have a lot of free time to do some stuff. Um, so we're about to, I'm gonna take y'all fishing right now. It's kind of something I do most mornings. It kind of sets the tone for the day. So some mornings I also rip some coffee and ice cream, always haagen Doss, just kind of jump starts the day. We also got a pretty nice balcony here um, that I'll show you guys real quick before we head out. Um, as far as talking to some of my buddies around uh, minor league baseball, it looks like we have one of the better housing setups, so it's pretty cool. This little stream here, that's an attachment to where um, it's gonna float out to where we're gonna be fishing this morning. So yeah, we're right next to the lake, or not the lake, it's a river, St. Joseph's River. So we just fished for like about an hour and a half. Only got 20 minutes on film, but caught four fish in those 20 minutes. Only landed two of them, um, but then just caught another really nice smallie. So it's a great way to start the day, get some sun in the eyes, catch some beautiful scenery, and uh, go grab some food, and then we'll head to the ballpark. All right, so I just got back to the pad. I'm gonna whip up some food here. Um, this is what we're working with. All right, we got some leftover ground beef and rice. Um, there it is, get it in the frame. We got some oysters for the test, for the zinc, for all the minerals there. Um, carrot salad, Ray Peat carrot salad, removes excess estrogen from the system. Just look it up on Google. Um, does a lot of cool stuff for the gut. I'm also gonna rip some some sourdough bread with some strawberry basil jam and some butter. This is the fit that we're rocking with here. Peace out. I just rolled up to the ballpark. It is about 150. 
got stretched at about 250, so we're gonna roll out, get changed, do some stuff like that. Getting the hips loose, doing some hip cars. I have a lacrosse ball in between my knee and my calf um, just to like ensure the position I want is being achieved. And then here I'm doing, I call these around the worlds. It's just a PVC pipe and it's loaded with a 10 pound plate. Um, trying to progress these as much as I can. I see a lot of javelin throwers even get up to the barbell with those to kind of ensure their, their shoulders are in good shape. Here, I'm just hitting the basically ankle raises from, from different angles with the slant board. Um, the slant board is a very unique tool and that kind of popped into my head one day. Most people only use it vertically where their foot is like parallel with the board. Um, but using it where the foot is perpendicular kind of achieves a lot of unique angles that I feel like aren't normally hit. In the Everything. Yeah, Lord. Might use that as a thumbnail. So here I'm basically doing some hip internal rotation work. I have two yoga blocks, one to support my neck and then one in between my knees. And uh, this just kind of allows you to get into that fixed position where you can really feel the hip turn on in internal rotation and you can kind of push to try to you know get to the deepest range you can and then here I'm just warming up the spine along with getting the pelvis turned over um, and just kind of get preparing my body to rotate uh, which is really important for for throwing And then coming up here, I'm going to do a lat stretch, just a simple lat stretch with, uh, you can do this on any type of pole or fence that you have a good enough grip and kind of just allow your hip to bow out and you'll feel a good stretch in the lat. And lat's one of my areas that gets pretty tight over the course of the year, so always need to pay attention to it. Um, and I'm just hitting some handstands for fun here, kind of getting the shoulders and all those muscular musculature up there going. I just hit a little mini warm up. Um, gonna go throw on some cleats now and get ready for catch. As Watkins to the dish, swung on and missed. So that was an interesting outing. I punched out three straight guys. Um, I ended up giving up the go ahead home run. So. Kind of a tale of two different stories. I was pretty inefficient as a whole, though. But four strikeouts on the day. It was an inning and two thirds. Um, but I think three of the strikeouts came on three two counts. So it was kind of not the sharpest outing, I would say. Even though really I only gave up damage on the home run. But you know, I want to just get back to that flow state where I'm feeling really solid with each pitch. And this outing, I kind of felt like I was battling myself a little bit. So, something to kind of work on for this coming next week. Defense made an error, and then I walked two guys right away with two outs. Like, just being able to minimize your mistakes and minimize other people's mistakes instead of letting things compound is, you know, a really important skill that, that a pitcher should be able to have. So, I'm going to take you all through some of the things I do post throw to kind of make sure that I'm staying healthy and you know preparing my body to go again you know within the next few days well, I got this huge red light therapy panel from EMR Tech Chris at EMR Tech is the best if you're gonna buy a red light they have some smaller ones some entry-level ones I would go check them out but it looks like this about up to my 
my hip. Um, it has all the controls here. And so what red light therapy does is kind of activate the mitochondria in the localized areas of where you use it and then thus kind of speed up the healing process. So it's a pretty cool tool. It's been gaining a lot of notoriety as of late, it seems like. Um, but if you don't have the basics down, there's no need to try to get one. This is kind of for if you feel like you have your nutrition, your sleep, and all that other stuff dialed in, then you could kind of go out and uh, invest in one of these. But yeah, it's part of my post-game routine pretty frequently. Yeah, so that's kind of some of the stuff I do. I do some other mobility stuff, but that's going to wrap it up for this video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe. I'm going to be posting more content like this. And this next video is actually going to be a road trip because um, we're going on the road next week. So we'll get a taste of what a professional baseball road trip is like. All right. See you. I don't fucking know.